Hey everybody, it's Alex from Alex and Erica's channel and we're back today. We're going to talk about the Amalfi Coast and some of the important things that you should be aware of before you visit, especially if you're visiting on a cruise ship, you're going to want to watch this video. A few months ago, we visited Naples on a cruise ship. And when you go to Naples, the Amalfi Coast is a very attractive destination that many people want to visit. Naples is a beautiful city, but when you're on a cruise, when you have limited time, like you do, I think we had 10 or 11 hours in port, we chose to do a tour to the Amalfi Coast and take advantage of all that that had to offer. As you can see in the video, we had a tour guide. You'll meet him in a little bit. His name was Luca. I'll put his contact information in this video. Luca was a fantastic tour guide. He picked us up. He was there a half hour before we were able to get off the ship. So as soon as we got off the ship and we got off um, early, you can see people as we got onto his bus start making our way over to the Amalfi Coast. They were a little grumpy. It was early in the morning, but I think our disembarkation time um, was 8 a.m. Holy smokes, it's early. It's like 6.30 in the morning. We have just arrived in Napoli. 6.58 to be exactly. No. This is our last port. And uh, we just arrived in uh, Naples. And people are off the boat early today. We're trying to get off the boat early as well. We got off the ship. We met up with Luca. He had a private van for us. And then we started to make our way over to the Amalfi Coast. As you can see in the, in the drive, there's a lot of windy roads, but there's also some beautiful, beautiful scenery. So it's important to have your uh, cell phone your camera, your video camera, whatever you're gonna use available. Try and capture some of those photos, some of the uh, the beauty that this region of Italy has to offer. So the reason I make these videos is because I want you to be informed. I want people to show up with a plan when they go on a cruise at each destination. And if you find this video helpful, uh, be sure to like, share, subscribe. And if you have any questions related to the video, uh, post those questions below, but be sure to watch the entire video because I think you'll find it very informative especially if you're going to be visiting Naples or Amalfi or want to go to Positano. So as far as um, cash and spending money, I always suggest my preferred method is to use your credit card as much as possible. If you have to use your ATM, uh, you can sometimes get some cash from the cruise ship ATM or use a physical ATM, a physical bank and the ATM there. That's always your best option for getting cash if you need it. A lot of people might think about going into a mafia on their own or a Positano and then maybe renting a car. I don't think that's really ideal. Parking in the coastal areas is really, really difficult. It's expensive. So if you're on a budget, Positano, a mafia may not be the ideal places for you to go, but if you can afford it and, and, and budget your, uh, afternoon or to do an excursion through the cruise line or on your own like we did. Amalfi is really just, it's beautiful. I wish we had more time there. In hindsight, if we were to go back to this area of Italy, I would go to Amalfi for a day at least, spend a day in Positano, and then maybe a day in some of the smaller villages or do like a boat tour uh, along the coast. So something to keep in mind. When it comes to us doing uh, cruise ship uh, excursions, we typically always do excursions on our own. We, we usually never do them through the cruise line, but in order to do this, you gotta book way in advance. You gotta really plan this out. But if you're gonna book a cruise excursion through the, the cruise line, you wanna book those as far in advance as you can because those will book up quickly. This is the Amalfi Coast viewing point. I think that's what it's called. We stopped here for a few minutes, a fantastic spot to take photos. Uh, we spent 10 minutes here just checking out the view and uh, taking a few photos. And then after that, we were back in the van and on our way over to the Amalfi Coast. The thing that's important about having a private tour guide is just knowing how they navigate, dealing with parking, being able to drop you off, get picked up. Um, traffic and parking is a real pain in certain areas on the Italian coast. Um, so. Having a tour guide, having a guy like Luca was definitely, definitely worth the expense. When I make a video like this too, people always ask me in the comments, you know, what did you pay? And I'm always hesitant to put that in because things always change, the market economy changes. And maybe a year or two after I make this video that you decide to reach out to them. So I always encourage you just touch base with them, reach out to them. I'll make his contact information available because a lot of it just depends on how much uh, you want to spend. Maybe you're not even going on a cruise. Maybe you're going to spend a couple days and you want him to take you around for a couple days. 
or maybe you want to just do a tour where you just stay in the Naples area or maybe you want to go to Amalfi or maybe you want to go to Positano or one or the other or do what we did and go see both. So as you can see, we're driving in. There's some beautiful hotels. Some of these hotels are extremely expensive. That hotel on the right, from what I understand, was one of the more expensive, one of the finer places that you can stay in the Mafi Coast. This tunnel that you're looking at that we're driving in, just an incredible tunnel. Again, make sure you have your cameras ready because there, were, there was just so much beauty to capture that even with Luca telling us and giving us a heads up, sometimes we were just so caught up with everything, it was hard to capture and take everything in. There's a fine line between enjoying the moment, trying to like experience everything, but then also trying to use your phone or video camera or to take photos to capture video. So you gotta find your balance. So Luca had suggested that we do Amafi first. If we were to go directly to Amafi from the cruise ship, um, there was a good chance that we were gonna get ahead of the uh, all the tours from the cruise lines and he was right. We were able to get in and out of there and it really helped us beat the rush of cruise ship passengers. As you can see, we went out to the point there where we took a few photos, took in the view. What he typically does is he'll drop you off at a location. We used WhatsApp. Uh, WhatsApp is pretty popular. I'm sure everybody knows WhatsApp. And then we basically, we had an estimate of about an hour and a half or so. If we needed to do adjust that accordingly, just to uh, call him or send him a message. And then he would basically, he was gonna be at a, a waiting point for us to be able to come in and pick us up when we were ready to leave. But he gave us some ideas and um, things to walk and explore, check out. One of them, as you can see in the, uh, the video here, the uh, Duomo, I think I'm pronouncing that correctly. Um, it's the cathedral right there in the center of Amalfi, and it's uh, it's really beautiful. It's definitely worth checking out. Originally, I wasn't going to walk up the stairs, but I thought, what the heck, let's give it a shot. I didn't pay the, um, there was a, a few dollars to pay to go in and do a quick little tour. I didn't pay to do that, but I hung out with Emma most of the time at the bottom. Emma and I grabbed an espresso. I sat at a nice little cafe there in the corner, and then Erica and the kids and some of the other family members, they went into the church to explore and check everything out. After that, we spent about an hour and a half or so in the mafia. We um, had a couple of espressos, like I mentioned. And then I told, uh, I told Luca we were ready to go. He picked us up and we were on our way to Positano. And as we were leaving Amafi, like I mentioned earlier, a ton of cruise ship passengers were showing up and you could really feel the surge of uh, tourists that were coming into Amalfi. The other thing I forgot to mention earlier on in the video, so when you leave Naples, the drive from Naples to Amalfi is about an hour and 20 minutes or so, give or take. And so that was our drive over there to uh, Amalfi. And then when you leave Amalfi, there's again, there's some really cool tunnels that you'll drive through. Um, our next destination was go to Positano. Positano is about 45 minutes away. And, um, and that's what you're gonna see as we drive on and then as you can see, um, some of the footage here as you're leaving is just, again, it's beautiful. There was a beach down there, a beach area, some rocks that if we were to go back to Amafi, not on a cruise ship, but have some in a few days there, it'd definitely be a spot that I'd want to go check out. We were driving by and I didn't even get a great um, photo of it, but you'll see it here coming up in a second. Oh, wow. Hold on. Take a photo, take a photo. You wanna go for a swim, Swagada? Look at that view, that's incredible. So that beach area just looked like a fantastic spot. Definitely a spot to go to if we go back to Amafi in a few years. So we arrived in Positano. Again, Luca dropped us off. This was an area where he was gonna park. He had a relationship there with, with a, a spot for a parking lot. He gave us a couple suggestions on where to go eat. We walked down to the beach area. A beach area there, really beautiful. A lot of tourism, a lot of tourists, but it didn't feel nearly as crowded as the Mafi. Heard some people be a little critical of Positano. Besides it being a little expensive, it was just like an awesome spot. We really, really, really enjoyed our afternoon in Positano. Um, this is a restaurant we found. Luca gave us a couple suggestions, a couple places because we were a larger group of like 12. It's hard to find, you know, if you're a smaller group, it's much easier to find, but we ended up going to this restaurant. I think it was called Restaurant Lilicanto. Um, it was good. It was very good. It was a little pricey. The reviews on it aren't great. And I think the reviews aren't as great because it is a little more expensive. A couple of the spots that he suggested were a little further up the hill, a little more reasonable uh, in price. And I'm, and I'm sure the food was excellent. We really enjoyed this option. As you can see, we had a few drinks. We were starting to feel good. Erica's sister was feeling good with the shots. 
That was a complimentary shot that the, uh, the manager gave us. We all had a couple of those complimentary shots as well as the dessert. And I think the vantage point and just being so close to the beach area with the views was definitely worth the additional expense. Definitely a lot more money than we typically spend for a lunch or uh, you know, going out to eat. But we really, really enjoyed it. Really, really enjoyed our time in Positano. So after we finished eating, having our lunch, we, we walked around that area of Positano, we explored, we went into some of the shops. Really, you just don't have a ton of time. I mean, you spend a couple hours in Amafi, you spend a couple hours in Positano, and then really your, your day is getting to the point where you gotta start heading back to the cruise port. We started to head back with like a three or four hour window before our uh, back on board time. We thought that we'd uh, spend a little time exploring Naples, which we did. But again, as you can see in the video, everybody was kind of tired out. It was a long day. We got back to Naples. We only we only had a couple hours, and I think it was because everybody was tired. We didn't want to get out and walk around, so we ended up just doing a, a driving tour around the city. And then we went back to the cruise ship and got back on the ship. But overall, we had a great time. I can't thank Luca enough. Luca really, really went above and beyond. He was... Uh, Super informative, he gave us a lot of tips, restaurant suggestions, places to go. He was great. We were really, really good hands. And I'm really reluctant to refer people when I you know, have people that reach out or I talk about them during a video like this. If I haven't really personally uh, use that person. I can't refer and tell other people to go out and have that same experience. So Luca was great. Reach out to him. Hopefully, if you're gonna go on a cruise to the uh, Naples, um, he's available. I think he will be if you give him enough notice, enough time in advance. So as you can see, we were wrapping it up with Luca. We said our goodbyes. That's a, a quick little shot of his van. And hopefully, if you make it to Amafi, you'll have a chance to go and meet him. Hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions or if you have any personal experience visiting Naples, doing an excursion, or if you, you have just a particular question, leave a comment, let me know below. I'd love to get some feedback. If you found this video helpful, if you're going on a cruise with a group or other people, or you're in a uh, one of these Facebook cruise groups, please share the video, give it a like, a share, a thumbs up, all that. And we will talk to you soon. Hope you have a great day. Bye.